down by the fields, you can see it more over this way. All that red is dust being blown up off the fields by the wind ahead of this storm. We're about to drive through it. You can see how dim the headlights are of the cars coming towards us. <clears throat> now we're getting into the Everybody's turning their emergency flashes on. I assume this is what happened in Illinois about Illinois about a month ago up south of Springfield when they had that major car accident up there. All that red on the ground is sand being blown up by this storm. Uh-oh. Here we go. I almost have no visibility on my windshield. Visibility is down to about 50 to 100 feet. You can see the dim headlights of the other cars. hit even a thicker mass up here in front of us. You can see it now on the camera. This is absolutely a mini haboob dust storm crossing Interstate 20 just west of Abilene. All pushed up by the winds ahead of this storm system. We notified the National Weather Service in San Angelo about 20, 25 minutes ago about the situation in case they wasn't aware of it. We're getting ready to go into it again. The visibility is going to go down to pretty low on our windshield. I don't know what it's going to look like on the camera. The other cameras in the car are showing almost zero visibility on the front of them. It's like nighttime. Well, last time I experienced something like this was in San South Dakota, Sioux Falls area, last May when the Dureco blew up, blew through, and uh, it turned from daylight to night in less than a minute and a half. Those winds are strong. strong. You can still see the haze above us as we come out of it on the other side. The storm front is still pushing towards Abilene. 